To connect your Sonos straight to your TV, it's quite simple. We're gonna have to look at the back, and here you will see there is four little things. The first one is the infinity button. This one is to pair the Sonos Ray to the Sonos app, and we will see that into another video. The second one is absolutely essential. It's to connect the power cable. So that one is inside the box. You connect it at the back here, and the other part goes to the wall. So fairly simple. The next one is for the optical cable. And that one is, is a bit of a weird cable. So as you can see here, that's, that's the, well, the cable in question. And just make sure that you pop out those little cap. Otherwise you might broke a device. It's just here to protect the cable against the dust. Um, actually, this is an optical cable, so it it's, it's the audio signal that passed through, and it's called optical cable because it's light that is passing through. So if I just turn on my flashlight and put some light over here, you see there's light over there. So that's, that's an optical cable. So you just connect it and mm, mm, be careful. You see, it's, it's really a weird connector. Um, you have to put it on the right side. So you see there's a flat head over here, and usually, usually, not all the time, but this goes on top. And it's actually the case with the Sonos Ray. So you put it on top, flat head over here, and you just connect it like that. Did, did they actually made it so you can turn it in any direction? Yes, they did. Well, that's great. That's great for, for the Sonos Ray, but that's the first device that I see that works like that. On your TV, it's probably the flat head on top, but it's not always the case. When you look on your TV, it's different on everyone, but usually there's a little door that shot in front of it and you should be able to see some red light behind it. So connect it inside it. On the other side, you will see the red light and connect it inside your Sonos Ray. I would say that Probably every TV that I have installed in the last 10 years had an optical output. So yours surely have one, but if it does not, follow the link in the description and I will uh, send you to an analog to optical converter. If your TV doesn't have an optical output, it surely have an analog output. And if it's not, well, there is no other solution than changing your TV. Sorry, but you surely have one. <laughs> and then, what else do we have? We have a network connector over here. Uh, RJ45 network cable, big phone connector. It's not a phone connector, it's a network cable. So you, you can connect that one over here, and the other side goes to a switch or your router. You don't have to connect it, it's not essential, but I highly recommend that at least one of your Sonos device in your house is connected with a wire. And I explain why in the video in, on the upper right corner. Then you will need to set up your Sonos Ray on the Sonos app. And for this, I invite you to take a look at the video on the upper right corner. I explained it in detail. Once this will be done, everything that is connected on your TV will be able to play on the Sonos Ray. So your TV, your cable box, your DVD player, your PlayStation, Xbox, whatever, they will be able to play inside the Sonos Ray. Finally, if you want to connect Sonos So Mini, or the usual one if you want, well, this one is very easy to connect. You use the connection under it. It's the power cable that goes there and it wirelessly connect to the Sonos Ray. And that is done over the Sonos application. And I explained it in the video that was in the upper right corner or in the description. You will find it very easily. So this is how you connect the Sonos Ray. So I hope this was helpful.